Hello, thank you for checking out this video. Today I'm going to talk about my 8088 motherboard that's built on an ISA card. This would be my second video, but this has uh, had some improvements to the board, so I'm going to go through the whole board again in this video. So, you can see the basic layout. We've got our processor here. We've got our clock, and it's attached to a... Uh, Crystal uh, 14.31818 and then we've got our reset buttons, LED, power light, speaker pins, some uh, resistor arrays here, 10k, these ones are uh, pull up and pull down for various things. Now one change that I made from the last board, I added these resistors here that tie to the uh, crystal seems to run uh, a little less staticky. The uh, added a resistor here, here, and here. Now these are supposed to be 27 ohm. These ones are 33 ohm because I had them on hand, the 27 ohms I don't have. I thought I had some, but they were 27K. So, but these 33 ohm work and it goes from the click pin to the processor, comes off the oscillate pin and it comes off the uh, P click pin which uh, is just how the original PC did it as well with the 27 ohm resistors. Got a clock divider here. It's a 74L SM4. And then our uh, read-write decoding here. It's a LS257. Then we've got our latches, our lower latch here, 0 through 7. Our upper latch, 16 through 19 here. The middle lines are not latched. Got a uh, bus transceiver here, the LS245. And then across the top here, we've got some memory decoding and then the IO decoding. And then some uh, LSO4, LSO7 here. The rest are just decoding. We've got a 512K piece of RAM here. Starts at memory address zero. We've got our ROM. You can take it in and out. Got a nice zip socket on there. 32K starts at F8000. And then I have another piece of RAM here. Starts at F8000. Now port 20, which is our interrupt controller. And these are all labeled. As well as the uh, chip that goes in them is all labeled. So we got port 20 here, interrupt controller. And then we have port 40. And this is hex, 40 uh, in hex. And that's got your 8253. Now, I do have this labeled for the 8254. Um, the 8253 definitely works better. I, the 8254 is supposed to be compatible, but uh, this 8253 just works better for this. And the, mainly this is used for the speaker and the system timer. And then we've got port 61 here. Um, this is just a latch. It's a LS573. And you can see I've labeled on the board, probably not on the camera, but what each pin does. And so data zero, speaker go, data one is speaker enable, and then data five is uh, non maskable interrupt and channel check enable. And then I added a on off switch here, just locks. Now, before I had a jumper, which I still have the jumper, it's on top of the power socket there. Um, and I would just put a, uh, a jumper on there, but this kind of handy when you're on the bench testing. Now, if you had this in a case, I would just say lock this down and then you just do, uh, if you have a power supply that has a switch on the back, or you can come off the jumper pins, which are up here to a toggle switch, and then you would just leave this open. So I've got a 24 pin connector. You can plug a 20 pin in there. I drew a little line right here. It says 24, 20. Just to kind of help you know which one to plug it into if you use a 20 pin. We've got our PS2 port here. And coming off of our 8.2, or this one's an 8.3.4.2. And then I do have, this one is, that was another change. It will use the uh, VT82C42V. It'll use either one. These ones... Just depends on, I guess, the time, which ones are more available and what price. 
Now I just used a module here. I do have some of these chips available. I could put one on the board, but it's just easy enough to buy a module and just flip it over. So I got our two by eight pin header here. And then this two pin header here, just a second place to secure it. But then it also goes to the, there's a jumper that goes on here, select between parallel or serial. And it just where it serves as that jumper. Um, we've got our face plate that goes on here. Now I haven't drilled, I haven't drilled the holes. I've been looking for like a sheet metal punch, but this is a Keystone. I want to say a Keystone 9202 is the part number and that goes on there neatly. So you just need to punch a hole for the uh, PS2 and then the USB to have it neatly fit in your case. So that's kind of the board summed up. Um, I may make some minor improvements, but so far it seems to run just fine for uh, a hobby level uh, PC compatible 8088. So I'm gonna pause the video, I'll plug it in. I'm gonna run the third party BIOS that the that's available on the internet for the for my V40 board actually. So we'll demo that here. All right, so I booted it up, I'm trying to get the screen to not be quite so blurry here. You can hear the speakers just toning. And the uh, V40 BIOS, it does that. On my BIOS, it does not. I just unplug the speaker. Uh, so I don't know if I'm gonna get this any less blurry. But you can see it's running. It booted up from uh, a USB drive, DOS 622, right up to the prompt. Keyboard works fine. Let's run a MS Diagnostics. Maybe I'll, the screen will be less blurry here. So, like I said, I just dropped in the uh, third party BIOS that's available for my V40 motherboard. And uh, there's some V40 setup commands that writes to the upper ports, uh, it just ignores them. So, it doesn't really cause any issues. So here you can see it says it's a NEC V20 and that's correct. That's what I have running on there. My 8088 will not boot with this V40 BIOS. Uh, I think there's some 186 code in there. Got 512K memory. I think we went over this last time. It's got some extended memory it's showing that's not really there. Shows a VGA uh, 6.22 for DOS and then it claims we have an A, B, C, D, and E drive but we only have a C. That's about it. So, anyway, so that does work with a CGA card with my BIOS that's available on my website. I'll provide the links in the description on the video. But I've got a couple of different versions of uh, VGA cards that haven't had any issues with them working. So, anyway, thanks for checking out my video today.